This is my oscilloscope which I use often to probe circuit. And this also is the same oscilloscope but this time it got burnt. Yes, the oscilloscope got burnt as the powering probe which in this case supposed to be a 5V source was mistaken for the 12V powering probe which looks the same and close to the oscilloscope at the time when the oscilloscope was intended for use. Powering the oscilloscope with a high voltage of 12V, the device couldn't turn on the display, rather only the internal relays turned on, which you can hear. The next action is for me to lose the casing for the first time. With that done, I now have access to the board which I can try to find damage part. I can visibly see one IC bond, so I use the digital magnifier to find the IC part. The IC has 8751 written on it, on which when I searched online, I realized it's meant for signal amplifier. Checking my stock, I found one which I can easily replace. To replace this part, I start off by using a soldering floss and a soldering iron to remove the IC. I must say, this part is tricky and requires experience to handle. Good thing, the part isn't out completely. So I first clean the pad using spirit, after which I apply the soldering paste and hand solder the IC replacement. Happy with what I have, I connected back the screen on board, I powered it up and it couldn't turn on the screen, which I was disappointed. So, I had to check further the entire PCB and I found out that the power station has one DC to DC converter chip burnt. This time, I think this is the main issue. I replaced the IC using a reference design I saw online as I couldn't get clearly the name of the IC when I tried. With the IC now so that my finger is crossed for another test. I carefully connected everything back and ready to power them up. Turning on the device, the display turned on and you can imagine my joy. Next, I said to connect everything back, starting with the internal screws down to the enclosure. I powered up the device once again and it's working. Using signal generator, I tested the scope just to be sure that everything is okay. With the oscilloscope back to life, I can now go back to probing electronics, but this time with great caution.